Hello again and welcome back to Wingot Plays Oxygen Not Included. It looks like the third Slickster didn't ever make it up into our incubator here, matured and has managed to get stuck in our critter trap here. That's the sort of thing that happens <coughs> in Dupe, Flex and Chill, a Wingot Plays version of the Chaos Crew Seed, which is currently an all achievement run that is working oh sun nymph working on well getting all achievements while using the chaos crusade uh drecklets i think will be quite a priority because drecklets will be able to start generating us some reed fiber and we need reed fiber in order to make atmo suits and given how far away we're getting from the base we're really struggling due to the various gases and the non-breathability outside of our temporary base here. So if we can set up some Atmo suits, that will be a very strong move towards being able to access the rest of the base. In order to do that, we're going to need reed fiber, which we've got. We're going to need some refined metal, which we've got a bit of. And we're going to need oxygen, which... We've got 20 tons of algae. We've got more algae sitting around the map, but the it's not a re, it's not a permanent solution. So we'll probably want to actually get the oxygen from a electrolyzer setup, and as part of that, we will need a water source. This saltwater geyser over here is nice and visible and obvious, so let's use that one this one down here we were really struggling with just because anytime our duplicate even tried to get down here they'd run out of breath they would really struggle and so i've managed to transition over to that other one which is much more visible and doesn't have anywhere near the the same difficulty with breathability yes they need to run all the way back here but down here they basically weren't even getting there here they're actually getting there and doing some jobs so it's better like that's how long galantamine was able to last before needing to run back in and order to get another breath perfect now the other thing is if we we could also set this up because this here will tr clear out a lot of this non-oxygen a lot a lot of this natural gas and and other um gases that are in the area which will then allow us to to hopefully bring some oxygen out of the base and ha make s uh, at least some of this space more breathable I don't know whether we're going to get to the point that this is finished before we, f we finish the jobs over here, but we may as well try and build this, try and clean up the gases here a little bit at least. So that is the current plan. Current plan, work on the water here. Current plan, make sure that we are generating meat, that we're evolving our hatches as they get born to make sure that we keep eating barbecue and cooked seafood at a good clip and finish off the carnivore achievement. That said, we will then still need to continue with the e eating barbecue in order to keep sustaining our duplicates but what we might be able to do is we might actually be able to move it so that the hatchling eggs are immediately deposited into a evolution chamber and don't need to use the incubators it will have to and there we go whole lot of paku we don't need any more duplicates at the moment so basically that's just a whole that's just 18,000 free calories of meat very easily done 
Sleeping. Oh, okay, I see. That's what the noise is. Uh, what is going on there? You... Oh, have I connected to the wrong one? Okay, let's... Let's try doing all of this as a priority seven as well. Effectively, we want to... to start picking up this crude oil before these slicksters start killing themselves. Oh, and speaking of, that one has just died, I think. Interesting, because there's definitely plenty of carbon dioxide. So it's because the temperature down here is not high enough for their livable range. Oh. That's got to be what they've just died to. Because a standard Slickster has a living range of 35 to 160 and the temperature down here is 10. So that's what they're dying to. They're dying to not enough heat. And we're going to need to basically just wait on yet another. Unless... Like, unless there's some Slicksters down here at the bottom of the map. I think we'll try and figure out whether there's some Slicksters down there before we go trying to grab any more Slicksters from the printing pod. That said, that meat should be getting picked up and taken up to the grill. Except for the fact that the grill is already overloaded with meat. But too much meat production is, is the problem. Okay, uh, over here we're starting very slowly to get our build in place. That's been analysed. We've got 21 cycles. Perfect. We've got plenty of time. We can go part, just past cycle 100 before this is going to start erupting. So we should have plenty of time to get all of this built. And here, looks like we're starting to clear out the gases here a bit. And 150 kilos of natural gas will be able to fit into this first reservoir. Total of 300 kilos will be able to fit between the two of them. No gas output, that's fine. I don't care if there's no gas output. Okay, we've managed to pump out the crude oil that was sitting there. Um, not in liquid. Oh, it's sitting here in the output pipe. 1453. I wonder, let's try this. Now, we want to get rid of this piece. And see whether that works. Because basically we want to store the crude oil. We don't want it all sitting in the liquid pipe there. It? <laughs> it basically doesn't even sit in the liquid reservoir at any point. There you go. Okay, there we go. Cool. It is so. It doesn't need an output. It's going to complain that it doesn't have an output, but it doesn't need one in order to at least accept fluids, which is useful. I was under the impression it actually needed a output that, in order to accept fluids. Now, what we do want, we so we want to bring our slicksters somewhere and the question is where can they go where I'll be able to fill it at least the roof with hydrogen and I think the answer is right here I think what we can do is 
turn this one into a Drek Draco Ranch. Although, if it's a Draco Ranch, Dracos want, well, um, pinch of pepper nuts, they want balm lilies, they want mealwood. Mealwood increases the chance of getting glossy Dracos, which can produce plastic. We want both, but what we might do to start with is we might put some hydroponic farm tiles in here. And then those are going to be able to, we can put bar, um, mealwood in, into those, which will at least feed the Dracos. And we'll also start working on us getting some glossy Dracos, which will give us a plastic source. And then between glossy Dracos and Slicksters, we would actually be able to produce oil and the oil products without needing to actually access the oil biome. We definitely will access the oil biome, but it unreachable. Yeah, okay, because they need to build the floor here. But having but basically having anything renewably is is always so is always desirable to me. Um, now, we do need water all the way along here. And that is going to produce a reasonable demand on our water. So we are going to need to Why is this one empty? But that one's Oh it can't empty without an in, without an intake. Curious. Okay. But yes, that will generate a draw on our water beyond what our the the draw that we're we're getting from our laboratories, which is currently the only real draw. We're not doing any research, and that's the other thing that that takes water. But now that we're starting, body temperature. Like heat is definitely one thing that this is going to solve for us. Okay, now we do also need steel, we need refined carbon. We, let's take a look at refinement. We can make a kill. So what if, what if we put a kiln here? As a priority eight, we can get rid of the sign bug because it's in the wrong spot. Now, if these guys are glum, I think they're glummed, be glum because they're not getting groomed. They're tame and they're not getting groomed, so I think that's what they're complaining about. If we do this, get rid of that park sign then this will become a... It'll probably be too big. This is 144 tiles and a stable can at most be 96 tiles. So I think what we're going to have to do is try to close this in a bit. Well, not just a bit. Let's completely close this in. And depending on which side they wind up, we will decide which side is where the ranch goes. Now, you, we want to make refined carbon. I want, let's do 50 of this. So this kiln will produce a lot of heat. Ceramic is clay and coal. We've only got, really, 2290 clay, okay. Where do I find more clay? Um, Because if I can, I'll prioritize digging up some clay so that we can start working on some insulation there. I don't think I see any though. Mm. 
Yeah, okay. I think we'll try and figure that out later. But for now, that should generate a lot of heat. Okay, now I think what we'll do, you don't need the arbor acorn in there anymore. We do want coal. Um, where's coal? Consumable ore. Coal. Perfect. And then we can grab a auto sweeper here. In fact, we're going to need two because we're going to be dropping Draco eggs in here. You. Thimble reed seeds. That also would be a way to get reed fiber. Pip squeak. Do we have a pip egg at the moment? We do. So we don't need another pipsqueak. Thimble reed seed will give us a option for getting a thimble reed. Okay, now we also want, let's run a power wire all the way there. Good. What is going on here? Someone delivered less than the required 100 kilos? Yeah. Weird. Okay, let's get evolve some more meat. Uh, 29,000 barbecue. 5,000 seafood, fine. Um, no one's complaining about being overcrowded at the moment, but I might kill, in fact, let's kill all three because we've got plenty of plaque coming in. Five degrees, six degrees, good. This is, should get up there pretty soon. Uh, you, this Draco is about to mature and I was thinking that I wanted to have it up here, didn't I? Um, now, Draco's living range 15 degrees. So we do want to try to generate a whole, uh, even more heat up here. Um, I think, arguably, we want to try to move hydrogen up into this space. Um, how are we going over here? So, looks like these both managed to fill up with... Oh, I didn't think it was possible for them to have more than one gas in them. Natural gas, chlorine, carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide, chlorine, oxygen. Yeah. Okay. Well, at this point, it's not actually doing anything, so let's just turn it off. But what we probably want is... Let's see what we can do about putting another couple in. And running up to there. Deconstruct that. And... I guess we could do that. Um, deconstruct that. You, we can build, a, build that there and put in some ladders. Perfect. And then we'll be able to ditch a chunk more of this... The problem is, it's not possible to get out specific gases. Yeah, I could have sworn that these used to only take one type of gas. there'd been some chat happening in the, the Discord that I... Um, that I had most recently been reading. Because it didn't... didn't... Um, tr 
yeah, it, it hadn't scrolled. So I didn't think any messages had happened. And then all of a sudden I look across it and there's a whole chunk of messages. Okay, perfect. So, you, we've still got 17 cycles there. Um, carnivore, we're at cycle 86. At the rate we had been generating meat, I would have thought that we should be finished, as well as which we've still got 30k of barbecue. Um, you, I want the Drecklet moved up to here. Okay, I think it might be best to do this. We want... Yeah, good. Cool. So, yeah, if that gets... There's our directly. Um, If that auto sweeper gets put into place, then at that point, this kiln will, act, will start running all the time. And then that will heat this room up enough to get the millwood going and also make it warm enough for the direct to be happy. Meanwhile, I've got, got another Dracula egg coming up there. We do, I just remembered, we are going to need a shearing station. Now, uh, uh, I don't want to delete this floor because ah, uh, you, yeah, I knew the Dracula would escape. Come on, what are you doing? Wait, cool. Build those. Um, let's see what we can do about it. We'll remove the rest of the floor. We want a couple of meal wood. We can. Will two meal wood be enough? Can this? Yes, it can be built over. So I think what we'll do is we'll build a floor here and then we can worry about more meal wood if we need it. Um, how are we going for power? We've got power in place. You, waiting for materials. I wonder if the auto sweeper got overridden because there was someone with a job to, to come and fill the kiln. Because yeah, it should be able to just take care of things like that. Good. Millwood is starting to get to a temperature where it's going to be able to start growing. Good. Um, sleeping. Okay. Good. This room is being built and... Not a hundred percent where this salt water came from. Oh, I, I think it came up from up here where that poke shell is. Okay, uh, I think we want to build that corner there as a priority, just to prevent that poke shell from being a problem for us. Um, yeah, we've got some oxygen that's managed to spill out to here. I wonder actually, what if we open this door? Because we've got oxygen inside the base, that should force some ox an oxygen pressure outside here. Rather than just this trace oxygen. Someone got an errand? No. Toggling. Toggling is what? Because there's not a priority for toggling. Ah, oh, there is. Okay. Uh, anyone who's got life support as a priority can also take toggling as priority. And in fact, cisplatin, you can also take toggling as priority. Okay, um, let's see, a torpestatin. Um, you've maxed out farming, you, how about you have a bit of supply? Clavulanic, you. I'm getting better at exosuits. Hydro. Electrical engineering, fine. Um, Osteopro Tedron um, Telomerase can grab some suit sustainability. Let's see, the lowest we've got is a 19 at the moment. I think because we're eating good meals in a great hall. So, 
Let's see what we can do about getting everyone suit sustainability. And um, because we really want extra suit training. Everyone can start working towards. There we go. Nobody got exosuit training, but we're close to having, um, well, yeah, we're one point away from having it on quite a few people. Uh, amoxicillin, you, in fact, there you go, exosuit training. And open exosuit training, perfect. I don't know that my ranchers need to have exosuit training, but it's easier to just give it to everyone, I think. Uh, I think the goal is proof. Yeah, 14 to 15 is probably the morale limit that I'm going to sit at at the moment. Um, okay, good. Looks like we're starting to get up to a temperature, which is nice. Um, power's sitting there. Okay. Um, Good. Looks like we're doing all right here. Uh, liquid pump doesn't have power. That's just because this power line hasn't yet been connected. We do have a liquid, a pipe there. And let's see, plumbing, desalinator. Where's desalinator? Um, do we need to research? Desalinator, liquid-based refinement process. Yep. Let's. Research desalinator because we're, well, arguably we've got two saltwater water geysers that we're wanting to utilize. We don't yet have, we've not yet looked at our other geysers and we don't know what else is currently available. So let's get a saltwater, um, get desalinated so that we can use this saltwater geyser that we've basically prepped now. Good. Um, what if we get rid of all of this printable? Uh, water. Hmm. I don't think I want another duplicate at the moment. Decorate, digging, tidying, diver's lungs, or the bottomless stomach. Um, we'll go for the water and we can come, we can worry about more dupes later on. Okay. Temperature 8.9, fine. It's still too cold for a lava, but uh, here, you priority ate all of that. Now these mealwoods need dirt. Oh, they don't need water. Right. This is going to be a mess between the stables, but it'll be it'll be fine. If we get lucky, the Draco is going to be on the right side, which is looking like a possibility at the moment. This shine bug definitely won't be. What happened there? Ah. We must be running out of jobs elsewhere. Cool, Draco's on the correct side there. Uh, now, we do want these shine nymphs. What if we open you? Good. Now, we'll see if we can get that shine, shine bug over onto this side. Um, we don't need this ranching station at the moment. Oh, I oh know. Shine the shine bugs there. Colony achievement. That's probably carnival. Perfect. I never noticed carnival, locavore, super sustainable are actually all right next to each other. Uh, we've also generated apparently ten thousand in like the last ten or so cycles. Okay. Now we want these bugs. We want all of them in here. 
pipsqueak. You. Um, where do we want the pipsqueak to go to? I think we want to make this space. Or well, we can make this space, actually. Let's make this space here into a pipsqueak farm. Let's priority nine all of this. In fact, let's priority nine that wall as well. Some sandstone is hardness 10, hardness 80, 25, 80, 25, 25. Okay, so what we can do, we can put a ranching station, a grooming station. Oh, that's right, we need a shearing station up here. Um, shearing station. Let's see. How big is it? It's at least three. Okay, it's three. I wonder why I can place it there, because that would look like... Oh, it, probably because of the mod that I've got that lets me build over plants. That would be my guess, anyway. Mm -hmm. Okay, probably nine, that, that, and that. Boom, good. Now, we do want... Let's see food. We want a airborne critter truck. So that we can grab that critter, bring it back, bring it down here where it belongs. We can't build one in this space without destroying. In fact, what we can do, we can probably get rid of that statue. and then replace it with a critter trap. Actually, I oh, did Good. Uh, we are starting to get on top of our base here at the moment. You, go there. Um, we want a storage bin down here. You can throw it all that. Because I notice even without giving things priority, they're actually starting to be built now, which is super helpful. Pip squeaks and pips get to go down to here. Um, you shouldn't have pip squeaks and pips. You should just have drecklets and dreckos. Uh, pip squeak, you're going to be wrangled. We've got two dreckos up here, and there's another drecklet being incubated over here. Uh, we don't have any more eggs down here. Fine. Show me all of my eggs. What have we got? Oh. Why are you showing me stuff that I don't apparently don't have? Uh, two shiny nymph eggs. Five. Six sage hatch eggs. Two fry eggs. Three stone hatchling eggs. Okay. Research complete. Uh, desalinated. Perfect. So. Um, Four scrubber. We don't need that. You. Desalinator. So, desalinator can take in five kilos of salt water. What are you producing? You are producing less than five kilos of salt water, average. Okay. Um, you, priority nine, get rid of all that. In fact, priority eight. Cool. Delete all of that. Um, why can't you? Get rid of that. Someone gonna come do that? Come on, do the digging. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Osteoprotegeron. And then we can get rid of this piece of ladder. We'll leave, I think, this ladder in place. And then we'll seal it up. Um, I think I want to get rid of that glitch stone. Um, you. Um, organic. Um, anything organic that I've told you to sweep. Anything... Why? Why can I not see bleach stone? Uh, 
there, bleach stone. It's apparently a consumable ore. I think it used to be a um, organic. Ooh, what was that? Hypothermia, major eye irritation, whatever. Um, salt. Salt and hydrogen don't have anywhere to go because this is full. Fine. Uh, you. We don't need. No eggs. No. Mm -mm. Bleach stone. And no organics. No seeds. In fact, leave the seeds. No organics. Cool. Now that salt should at least get picked up. And then as soon as that's finished being delivered, then we will be able to close this up. Don't care about these various gases that are in there because it's producing salt water. What is this? Water. Interesting that water's got a odd colour there. Um, oh, uh, I've picked up the salt, so let's go close this up. Oh, there we go. There's salt. We've got plenty of salt. Mm -hmm. Oh well. Yes, that can go down to there. Boom, cycle 90. So, we've achieved carnivore now. We, so we just have super sustainable to work towards. And then we won't have any limitations on us. We have plenty of food because we've got a lot of meat production. We are starting to actually get our Drecos online, which should mean that we start getting some... Mm, 60 watts, okay. Which means we should start getting some reed fiber, which will allow us to... Uh, make Atmos suits. We probably need to look at replacing this rock crusher with a metal refinery so that we've got better access to refined metal. But also we've got a smooth hatch probably not all that far away. Hopefully we should get one. Oh, there we go. Smooth hatchling egg. So we do have a smooth hatchling available. At which point we can actually change this. We don't want this anymore feeding copper ore. We can tell this, I want you to pick up copper ore and move it over to here. We can also change this so that it's not full of copper ore. What we do want though is we want a raw mineral and how about we use igneous rock because there's large amounts of igneous rock around. And then stone hatch can get fed igneous rock. Perfect. Good. Some of this copper may get eaten, but it'll be fine. Okay. Um, this is storing igneous rock. Perfect. Odd that this can only move eight, 80 kilos at a time. I would have thought... I didn't realise it had a limitation on it. Or is it because this is only... Okay. I think it's because this is moving 20 at a time. So it's, it's moving four ticks worth before this then picks up the next, oh, next amount. Yeah, because that's just filled up with a whole one ton in, in a single swing. Fair enough. Okay. Go kill him, kill him, kill him. Oh, 
Telomerase, got a skill point, you, exosuit training, fine. Somatotropin, exosuit training, 15, perfect. Cisplatin is, I think, going to go slightly over 15. I think Cisplatin is going to get to 16. Um, airborne creep trap, what the? There is clearly, yeah, it's clearly ice in this area that's melting. Show me you, crude oil only, perfect. Now, I do wonder. Airflow tiles don't let water through. Blocks liquid flow. So if we do that, that will protect this area from getting liquid accidentally get down there, but it will still be able to take gases. <coughs> um, the other thing, so I think for the time being at least, let's throw a carbon skimmer down. Let's grab a sieve to refine water. You, desalinator is done. You, we do need a sieve. There we go, water sieve. Cool. And then we'll be able to use the water sieve to... Well, yeah, we'll be able to use those together to clear out this carbon dioxide down here. Perfect. Um, you. How are we going with copper? Yeah, cool. More than half that's been moved at this point. There's a whole lot of ice sitting here that I am seeing. Uh, it's, I think it's because we rebuilt the roof is where it's all come from. Uh, now what we do want is I think we want to try to mop it up because this one down here can take ice. Liquifiable. Yes, perfect. Choose a blueprint. Uh, more lava eggs. Mm, or a snazzy suit. Let's go more lava eggs. We'll see what we can do about heating things up a bit. Uh, speaking of, so here, 26 degrees. We don't actually want to go any warmer because that's... Yeah, livable range 17, uh, 15. Comfort is 35, but livable is at least 15. And it, so below 30, these mealwoods can actually grow. What's going on here? Mealwood, current temperature. A minute ago it said that it couldn't grow because of temperature. Now, let's take a look here. Uh, potential load 3680, but current load is only 380. What have we got here? 19 hatchling eggs. And. I think we can't click on the others. I'm wondering if any of those are actually pretty close to evolving up uh, to hatching already. You direct direct living. 95%. Cool. That's getting pretty close. Okay, what I might do. I think I'm gonna change this so that we've got a evolution chamber and we'll put all of the eggs automatically into the evolution chamber and then we can decrease the number of incubators yeah i think that's that's the plan okay um you you can have more stone hatches why is there such little amount of igneous rock there should be huge amounts of igneous rock around there is, it's 146 ton, okay. It's just obviously a low priority for, to fill that up. Um, good, that's done. We have power. Yep, it has power, fine. So now it just needs to go somewhere that it can be refined. We do want a refinement. Um, oh, my bad. This was meant to end at cycle 90. So, we are going to have to 
come back later on to setting up our desalinators and stuff to deal with this water. But we've at least now got a water tank that can pump out the fluid and it's powered. We just need to connect this pipe somewhere. The, I wonder if we're pumping out 95 degree salt water, will a desalinator change the temperature of it or not? And we no longer need heat generation up here in our Draco farm area. We might put down here a, where is the arbor egg on there? We might put down here a heat source to bring this up to a temperature that the arbor tree is going to like. And arguably that the pip is, oh, the pip's happy with, the, with this temperature. But if we put a, another, where is refinement? Put another kiln down here. Then we... Just looking at the firmness. Um, then we'll be able to generate a chunk of heat down in this area as well. All of this ice that's melted is probably decreasing the temperature in there, unfortunately. But all of that is something that we're going to have to deal with next episode. So stay happy and healthy, and I hope to see you in the next one.